Hello there guys and welcome back again to my YouTube channel and for today's video, I'll be sharing you my Assassin Cross AA Dual Dagger build for PvP and grinding. You can also join my Discord channel, link is on the description below for more guides and if you haven't subscribed, make sure to click the subscribe button to get more updates on my Ragnarok Origin videos. This build is really expensive and I cannot really recommend it for free to play players. But as long as you enjoy the game and you're happy about the result, just keep playing and you can still rely on this build. So without further ado, let's get started. Damage test without EDP and enchant poison. Damage test with EDP and enchant poison. Ayan guys, makikita nyo, napakalutong ng critical. Ika nga nila, kaya marami ang nagsisinex is music to the ears talaga pag nakakarinig kayo ng mga critical ng sinex. When it comes to grinding, di pa rin siya nahihirapan. You can still deal decent damage when using this build. And another tip is you can change your preset to Soul Breaker so you can just one-hit monsters. And here is my stats allocation, 95 agility for ASPD, 36 vitality for survivability, and the rest will be put into lock to achieve 100% crit rate. For skill stats allocation, you can simply mimic or copy this build. For gears and equipment, the best option you can build as an auto-attack build main is Goib set, so you can still receive decent amount of damage and avoid one hit. Let's say you go for tier set and I do understand that you want to inflict more damage and kill them faster, but let's be honest, Assassin Cross is a squishy character, some wizard, some sage can easily one hit or one hit bolt you, so the best option is to make your character more tankier so you can have additional 1 to 2 seconds to inflict more damage because we are talking about ASPD, right? The more numbers that you can attack, the more damage you can inflict and like more damage, less time. On my previous PvP clip on the video, you can see that I'm almost one hit. What more if I use tier set, even closing the gap will be hard because before I can get near them, worst case scenario is possible I'm already dead. 
This is the main reason why Assassin Cross is not really recommended for free to play since you need decent equipments to get a chance to inflict damage and avoid being destroyed by Bolt or Cartrebo while attacking. For Vero scores, one of the best scores that you can get is Momentum Manager so you can gain additional ASPD and stacking up to 5 times. For mount stats allocation, of course, number one priority is attack of courage, loyalty for max HP, and charisma for attack percentage. For competitive and spender assassin players, you can copy this feather list. And for free to play and casual spender, you can watch my feather guide so you can know what is recommended for you. For medals, of course, you need to increase your attack and physical damage percentage and you can also add magic damage reduction and damage reduction. Okay, now let's talk about what you should build on level 50 to 70. First, if you're grinding, max out agility so you can kill monster faster. Then when doing Helheim, make it 1 is to 3 ratio agility and vitality. For gears and equipment, go for Sandstorm plus 2 stem worm card on accessory so you can auto cast red cut while attacking. You can simply copy this build from level 50 to 70. By the way, on slots, you can add luck. If you're lucky on accessory with two slots, you can go for crit build right away since you can insert crit cards and try to achieve sharp enchants on your weapon and accessory to achieve at least 40 to 70% of crit rate. For skill stats allocation for level 50 to 70, you can simply copy this build. Ayan, gusto ko lang i-shoutout yung tropa, si Oji Mantisa. Ayan, paring Oji, uh, thank you, thank you ulit. And mamaya, may mga magtatanong, eto na ba yung secret build natin? Hindi pa po, di po natin ilalabas yon pero malapit siya dito. And again guys, dito na natin tatapusin ng video. If this video was helpful for you, make sure to click the subscribe button and also join my Discord server to get more Ragnarok Origin videos and see you on my next video.